Genius Kids. Cultivating love for learning. Adaptation in plants. Knowledge acquisition. In this chapter, we will study about the importance of plant habitat and adaptation of plants. Some non-green plants. Amazing insectivorous plants. Plants of the grass family. Plants are an important part of life on the earth. We already know that plants are the only things that make their own food. Food made and stored by plants is eaten by human beings and animals. Plants are found everywhere on the earth. Different plants are found in different places. Some of them are found in cold places, while some are found in hot places. Some plants are found in water. Plants habitats, the surrounding in which a plant grows is called its environment or habitat. Plants differ greatly in their habitats and can be divided into two types on this basis. 1. Terrestrial plants. 2. Aquatic plants. 1. Terrestrial plants. Plants that grow on land are known as terrestrial plants. For example, mango tree and peepal tree. 2. Aquatic plants. Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. For example, water hyacinth, lotus and hydrilla. Adaptations in plants. Plants differ from each other depending on the environment in which they grow. A plant adapts itself according to the conditions of its habitat. The temperature of the place, amount of rainfall, sunlight received and water availability are the some factors that influence the adaptations developed by plants. This process of changing to suit the environment is called adaptation. Plants that grow on land. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plants. Terrestrial plants are different, depending on the type of soil and climate they grow in. They can be further divided into different types based on their adaptations to suit the particular area in which they grow. For example, different types of plants grow in plains, deserts, hills, marshy places and coastal areas. Plants adapted to grow on hilly areas. The climate in hilly areas is cold and snowfall is frequent. Therefore, the trees are tall, straight and conical shaped to allow snow to slide down easily. FIR, Pine and Cedar, Devdar, are some such examples of hilly areas. Their leaves are waxy and needle-like, so that they lose minimum amount of water and shed snow without difficulty. They do not shed their leaves in winter, so they remain green and are called evergreen trees. Plants adapted to grow in plains. The climate in the plains is warm in the summer and cold in the winter. Therefore, trees growing here have many branches. Mango, Shisham, Peepal, Banyan and Sal are some trees that grow in plain. These trees shed their leaves during winters and bear new leaves in spring. These trees are known as deciduous trees. Plants adapted to grow in desert. The climate in desert is very hot and water is scarce. The desert area is dry and is often covered with sand. Since the deserts receive very little rainfall, only a few plants are found there. Such plants are adapted to survive with the least amount of water. In such plants, their leaves are either reduced to spines or absent. The stem is green and performs photosynthesis and also stores food and water for the plant. Their roots go deep in search of water or spread widely. Plants adapted to grow in marshy places, near the seashore, where the rivers empty into the sea, like the marshy areas. The soil is sticky and clay. These places are hot and damp. The plants that grow here are mangroves. Candelia and cereops are mangrove plants. These plants are adapted to live in soil that is soaked in water. Their roots do not get air as the soil is covered with water. So, the roots grow out of the soil and breathe. Therefore, they are called breathing roots. Plant adapted to grow in coastal areas. The climate of coastal areas is hot and wet. Trees growing in these areas are adapted to grow in the presence of salty water. Plants like coconut, teak and rubber grow well here. These plants need plenty of water and sunlight. 
They have plenty of leaves and do not shed their leaves throughout the year, so they remain evergreen. Therefore, they are called evergreen trees. Plants that grow in water Plants that grow in water are called aquatic plants. They have adapted themselves amazingly to survive in water and to make their food in water. Aquatic plants are of three types, floating plants, fixed plants and underwater plants. Floating plants Plants that are float on the surface of water are called floating plants. Duckweed, water lettuce and water hyacinth are some such plants. They are very light and spongy and float on the surface of water. These plants use sunlight and carbon dioxide from the air to make food. These plants protect small water animals from the heat of the sun. Most of these plants have a fibrous root system. But their roots are not fixed at the bottom of the water body. Their roots just float below the surface. These plants have floating leaves that perform photosynthesis by trapping sunlight and carbon dioxide. Fixed plants Plants that are fixed in the soil at the bottom of the pond are called fixed plants. Lotus and water lily are the two examples of fixed plants. Their roots are fixed at the bottom of the pond. Their stems are long, hollow, light and flexible, so that they can bend easily with the waves of water and do not get uprooted. Their leaves float on the surface of water. The leaves are broad and have stomata only on the upper side. The broad leaves of such plants provide a nesting place for some tiny birds. Underwater plants Plants that are live under the water are called underwater plants. Some examples of underwater plants include hydrilla, pondweed and tape grass. They are completely submerged in water. Their roots are fixed to the soil or the bottom of shallow ponds and rivers. They have thin, ribbon-like narrow leaves. There is no stomata in their leaves. They breathe through their body surface. They clean the water by removing carbon dioxide breathed out by aquatic animals. This is why we put such plants in aquariums. Emergent plants Cattail and iris are some examples of emerged plants. They lift the edge of the water body where the soil is soaked in water. They look like land plants. Non-green plants We have read that mushroom, moles and breech drops are non-green plants. They do not have chlorophyll. They cannot make their food. They get their food from dead and decaying plants and animals. Some unusual but amazingly insectivorous plants. Plants like Venus flytrap, sundew and pitcher plant are some unusual plants. They grow in soil which is poor in minerals. So their leaves are modified to capture insects. Such plants are called insectivorous plants. In Venus flytrap, the leaf is folded into two halves. When an insect sits on the leaf, the two halves close and the insect is trapped. The hollow leaves of the pitcher plant are filled with nectar. When an insect comes to drink this, the lid closes and it is eaten by the plant. Plants of the grass family Cereal plants like maize, wheat and rice belong to the grass family. They are useful to us in many ways. They provide food for human beings and animals. Wheat, rice, bajra, jwar, sugar and fodder are obtained from plants of the grass family. Bamboo plants are actually giant grass. It is used for making brooms, baskets, mats, chairs, etc. Various grasses are used to make paper like papyrus grass. Some dry grass is used as packing materials. The roots of some plants of the grass family hold the soil and help to conserve the soil. Some plants of the grass family are used in preparing medicines. Critical thinking Paper was first made by the people of Egypt from a grass called papyrus. Continuous review Plants are found everywhere on the earth. Plants that grow on land are called terrestrial plant. Aquatic plants grow in water. Plants like FIR, pine and cedar plants found in the hilly areas. Mango, shisham, people, etc. are known as deciduous trees. Coconut, teak and rubber grow well in coastal areas. Underwater plants breathe through their body surface. Insectivorous plants grow in soil which is poor in minerals. 
plants of grass family provide food for human beings and animals. Like, share and subscribe.